Hey guys. All right. I was going to do a little talk inside the camper, but Merida will not stop barking. So I'm going to go into the chicken shed where the sun won't interfere. I swear I'm just going to start calling these the chicken shed chats. If it's not too dark. Whoop. Hmm. Okay. It might be too dark in here. But, um, normally I try to stay away from politics because there's just too much division on it. And I really do believe that both parties are the wings of the same bird. But, I'm a bit concerned about what's going on in Virginia. Now, there are others who have put together a more logical and, um, I guess, they're just better at expressing themselves than I am about this. I've never been a debater. I can't think on my feet, which is uh, a negative to me. It's a definite negative. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm still getting over that thing. Um, if you don't know what's going on in Virginia, then you should probably go check it out because absolutely nothing can come of it. See, I had this whole thing written in my head and then the minute I turn the camera on, all my logical thinking goes out the window and I'm which is partially why I ramble, because I, I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say. Um, but, you know, keeping it real, that's just me. <laughs> uh, if you haven't looked into Virginia, you need to. Uh, you've got, on the one hand, you've got um, the Democrats, who now own the state, and I say own because they're acting like that. They are pushing a law against certain weapons and I, I mean it, it goes into a whole bunch of stuff and you have all of the counties are pretty much either declaring themselves or have said some form of second amendment sanctuary and what drives me a little nuts is that there are so many people who are willfully ignorant about what's going on in our country. Um, the government, one of the, the leaders of that government has stated that the National Guard should be brought in against the American people to enforce this law that they want to make. Um, and that has caused the counties to start forming militias, official militias. In what world is this going to end well? Because, I mean, absolutely nothing could happen. Or we could seriously see our own country go to war with itself. And that bothers me a lot. It also bothers me that we are a constitutional republic. And the government that is supposed to work for us is now working against us. And this could be really bad. because it's not only going to be confined to Virginia. This is turning into a huge powder keg. If the Virginia government does not step back and de-escalate this, I'm really concerned about what's going to happen to the entire country because it's not going to stay in Virginia. You're going to have riots on both sides. I mean, look at all the other riots that happen over stupid things. And this is screwing with the Constitution. So, 
and for those who aren't aware, the Constitution, the Second Amendment is actually to keep the American people armed against our own government. And the government is trying to take that away. And if that doesn't concern you, you really need a reality check. I, I'm, I don't think, unless they back down, I don't think this is going to end well. And in those in the states surrounding Virginia, you know it's gonna, it's gonna spill over into your areas. So I, I've seen some people who are like, oh yeah, I'm going to fight. I can't wait for war. We're going to take this country back. You can never go back. You can only go forward. We will never be a constitutional republic like we were in the beginning. We can only try to steer closer to that. But our government is out of control and... <laughs> And all they want to do is divide and conquer. I mean, that's the way I feel. They're in the middle of dividing and conquering the American people. So my concern is... Okay, I'm getting more political than I wanted to. Because my main concern is if you're in that area... I'm not one of those doomed today prepper type people, but... You, I am someone who learned the hard way about having supplies when an ice storm hits and take out takes out your power for two weeks. If we end up in some sort of militia government debacle, you really should be <clears throat> prepared for that. <coughs> Dust is getting to me in here. Because who wants to go try to buy food with the National Guard rolling down the street? If you're even allowed to. I mean, that's worst case scenario. Okay. Um, whether you're pro-gun or not, or pro-Second Amendment, or anti-gun, anti whatever you want to call it. I don't care about the labels. I really don't. Um you need to be aware that once government starts taking away your rights, it never stops. It could take a hundred years, but eventually you're not going to have any rights. And that is, um, completely goes against what our country stands for to begin with. So I may edit this way down, but I may not, I may leave it just as it is. But I would definitely keep an eye on what's going on in Virginia. And and when I say by prepare for it, I don't mean go out and buy a bunch of guns. I mean just get enough stuff for you and your family so that if you can't leave for whatever reason, you have enough water and food to get through that. Um, you know, and that may be the extreme end of things. I do tend to go to the worst case scenario in my mind and okay what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens and I try to um, work around that I, which is obviously difficult for us because we live in campers there's no storage for anything so um, yeah just keep an eye out pay attention and even if you're for what they're doing Keep in mind the long-term ramifications of this. Because once you start letting them take away your rights, you don't get them back. You guys have a great day. Bye.